Hey everyone, guess who's back? That's right, we are back for season five of fan service and everybody's here to join the party. We've got new crew members, we've got a great lineup, we've got new topics. It's gonna be amazing, so don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for fan service right now. Welcome back to the studio, Pocky. I, we're back, except we're, we're missing Hold it. Hold on, we'll get there in just a okay, second. Okay, okay. This is our fifth season of fan service. We're so excited to be with you guys. We've been off for a while because the studio's been changing. They got these new lights that we've been playing with for the past two hours. They've, uh, we've changed you the lights, and we also, uh, unfortunately, somewhat changed the background settings. So. Yeah, so <laughs> we're still figuring all the kinks out, but it's going to be lots of fun. But we are missing somebody. We are. Unfortunately, Kim could not be here due to the most soul-crushing Human destroying, demoralizing thing any human can do. Christmas shopping? Worse. The office Christmas party. No! But, good news is, the studio has a new feature. Ooh. First, Josh, pull the lever! Oh my god, it's dark. I don't like the dark. What's, 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 what's Josh, wrong lever! So oh good! <laughs> my Automatic co-pilot. Automatic co-host. Yes. That is an amazing feature. So, who are we joined by today? I'm PJ. Did they just randomly pick you? Were you like eating dinner all of a sudden? Poop, you're with us? Sort remember, of. Remember those banditos that came during Operation Supply Drop and they robbed you? Oh, yeah. Same, same guys. Same thing. I got a phone call. Next thing I know, I'm right here. Oh, so PJ from Desolation Manor. Yep. Welcome to Fanboy TV and Fan Service. What do you think so far? It's kind of weird. You've only been here a couple seconds, I know, but. <laughs> Auto co pilot? You're going to totally be with us. So, what we're going to be talking about today is. There are a lot of dark legends of Christmas that kind of get overlooked because they all like glitter and Christmas and sprinkles. And it's not even just dark legends of Christmas, but like there are legitly some even nicer versions of Santa Claus and weird culture things. Lots of weird culture things. Like pooping. And so it could Ooh, not have no. picked a better person to come join us except for someone from Desolation Manor who does haunted attractions. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about Desolation Manor. Uh, we are a brand new startup. We specialize in what we call extreme interactive haunted adventures and terror adventures. Terror adventures like yeah. sleepaway camp and stuff like that. Yep. So, so we don't, we're not going to involve decapitation, are we? I mean, the, the players. Mm, we'll have to see. Okay. Damn. It's, it's all the, uh, the liability insurance. We have, have to work that out. Yeah, that's what you have. Well, what's liability that's if right. they're dead? You yeah. could just bury the body in the pond. That's yeah. what Jason does. Then you got families and bystanders. So they, uh, they don't know that where they're exactly they what the waivers are for. Yeah, waivers. So, let's get to the meat and what is the, what is the term? The meat, meat and potatoes. bones. Meat the and meat and potatoes. potatoes. Well, what, what is the one with bones? Skin and bones of skin, it. Skin and bones. That's really kind of well. It fits what we're going to be talking about. True. So, uh, so we're in the Christmas season, and as we talked about it in our ten things list, you know, we're all about Santas and holly jolly ho ho ho. Yes. And you see tinsel no, and glitter not. and everything everywhere, but one this monster. This guy's shaking his head. No, it's not. Yeah, no. PJ's. We mean no. Everybody else is. Everybody else is because that's what Christmas has become. But did you know, and we're getting a taste of it now because Krampus is becoming so big, and I blame Richard Brothers for that because that was just an awesome episode. Well, there was, there was before that. There was, you know, several festivals that finally started making their way to the United States. So there are horrible, bloody, violent Christmas legends and demons and things from the past. And rituals <laughs> and, and cult and things. Some things that are still going on to this day. And it's no one talks about it. They just say, oh, here we got some candy canes. There's no blood and death here. So we are yeah, going to talk pick about up that. a stick and beat you with it. No, a candy cane stick. At least <laughs> it will be delicious. Broom, like I <laughs> talked about earlier, a broom. Or a broom. Yeah, you know you're trouble when a witch Santa beats you with her broom. Right. And then, and then sweeps up after you. Sweeps up. <laughs> sweeps up the blood. For If anything, she's efficient. She Jeez. can clean my house any day. <laughs> so we're going to start talking about some of these because we've got a list of a whole bunch of them. List. And where they've come from. And what is the thing you realize when you're going over this? Um, Northern mm. Europe is violent. <laughs> and racist. <laughs> violent and racist Northern Europeans. Okay, why? 
We were why, do you, why do you think they are? Oh, okay. Why do you think they're that way? So let's go. It's I'm going to skip a couple pages here. They have nothing better to do than be bitter because it's cold. No, no. I think I think also as part of their Viking heritage. Viking? No, Vikings are actually kind of nice. They, they yes, but also you're all yes, no, but no, they're mean. No, no they're no. violent. Violet, violet. No. What? Some of it is like. Okay. Have you ever read the original like grim fairy tale stuff? Yes. They were all. They are. Yeah. yeah. Like woman like closes people. a drawer, like closes a, tre- a chest on a kid's head, cuts it off, turns it into like sparrows and stuff. It gets really. A lot of these were back in the day. This is how you taught your kids right from wrong, and to turn a holiday, particularly a loving holiday, and give it a if you're not nice. As an example, with one of these characters here, we have one of the, these tales. Someone will chop you up into little bits and eat you. Exactly. So let's. This let's, is let's, the thing that happens there. Let's kick off with everyone's favorite. I don't, I don't think that's right and wrong. I think that's just somebody just really pissed off. <laughs> so it's, it's each is right and wrong. I mean, we're we're, we're kicking off with everyone's favorite, the Krampus. Why do you think of all of these monsters? He's the one that because he's literally because he's the literal counter to Santa. Well, all of these are kind of the little no, no, counter no, but to I Santa. Mean, as in he's he's like Jekyll and Hyde Santa. Sort of, but he also is the one that's in. A lot of these we went through are like specifically for a particular country. Like La Pifana is is Italy only. Like she's just an Italian tradition. Mm-hmm. Uh, b- but Krampus, particularly, he's in a lot of cultures, including when we had you know our you know people coming over to the New World. He got transferred too. In fact, uh, the American Krampus actually has a look to him. The best way to describe him is he looks like a mountain man, and his bag is fur, and he wears traditional mountain man he clothes. Said his bag is and fur. And his beard looks more <laughs> fluffy and outsmarted than mine. I like the horn goat. What about you? Yeah, I, I'm I'm more of a traditionalist. I like the European look. So, and what do you think horns. has made Krampus stick where the other ones kind of fall away to the wayside? Um. They built a celebration around it. It gives them a chance to get drunk and beat each other in the streets. Do you ever really need an excuse for that? Let's be honest. Apparently in modern society, some people do. It's called Sixth Street People. I was going to say, isn't that called World Cup? Um, <laughs> so, uh, Krampus is everywhere, and I, I love the, I'm like you, I love the European style. I don't like this, hi, I'm a hillbilly. I'm going to well, put I mean, you was, in my fur set. I, I didn't say I liked it. I'm just saying this is, as it got transferred over, this is what he looked like. Damn Americans ruin everything fun, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this next one on the list, I don't even know. I, what uh, look, I'm not even I can't even pronounce that. Yolikaturin, I think. Jolikaturin, that's all I Yola. see. Yola. 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 It is some sort Yola. of evil cat that punishes you for not working overtime. Uh, my question is, does Iceland actually have cats? Yes. I'm sure they do, oh, but okay. I mean, what kind of popular this is like, you must work more, Psh, evil cat will get you. Psh. I mean, of all the ways to create a legend, let's make a cat, ooh, scary, come and torment you for not working an 80-hour work week. That was, I mean, you've got to remember at one point, uh, golf was considered the most sinful sport to be part of because golf. Because it's so utterly boring. Uh, no, no, because Unless golf there's was... windmills and Peter Pan, I don't Ooh. need it. And but, dinosaurs. Well, and dinosaurs. <laughs> right, but what I'm saying is at what point it was the most popular game in Europe to play was golf. So the church deemed it sinful. Oh, because... you're right. They are evil in England. Yes, yes. Exactly. Um, so I if, like the if you had to create something to punish you for not working overtime, what would you have made it be? Instead of a cat. Like a time card with paper cuts. You must work more. Um, yeah, dogs. How about, how about, a, how about a fat, a fat horned monster with a whip and he just keeps screaming, it's called work, cramp- work. <laughs> work that more. Krampus? That's the Krampus. He's got the whip. No, no, no the first sack. Krampus. Get in my sack or get back to work. <laughs> if you have enough time to get in the sack, you have enough time to work. <laughs> I need, yeah, I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. Okay? No. no. <laughs> Interestingly, I think the Yule Cat lives at my house. Really? Because yeah. you never get you never get time off. No, actually, I brought him back from the vet today, and he was very angry. Cats are really angry at times, you know. I can now I can kind of get it, but really, there's nothing frightening about a yule cat. It's just work. Well, also we'd have to see artwork of this thing. We don't have artwork. Oh, it, the artwork I saw looked like the Cheshire Cat. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's right. It was pretty. What about, what about the next pretty. one? We have an Aust- Austrian and German one here. Ooh. Yeah, I, Frau Perta. Frau Perta. Isn't this one of the witches? There's a lot of witches in Christmas lore. Yes, because it, it, a lot of times witches are not looked at as evil. They're just people. Uh, I, I think the, the people in Salem would disagree. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That was a land war. We can get over that. <laughs> no, it was a war against witches. If no. you 
if you floated, you were guilty and dead. And how many people floated? All of them floated, because nobody sinks. Unless you have rocks tied to your feet. Which they did. So this witch comes from where? Austria, Germany. Austria and Germany. Once again, we got this weird German thing going on. We have Iceland, like, we have Germany. They're all angry people. So what, the, what good do you think a witch serves at Christmas time? Well, according uh, to this one, she'll beat up. the crap out of you. <laughs> you better be good or I'll bust you a good one. Now, actually, her deal was be good or I'm going to rip your organs out. I'm going to disembowel you. Well, now, why? how bad are your children? This is what you have to threaten them with. Well, I mean, uh, you I, better I, not hit your sister, or you'll get disemboweled for growing. Uh, no, oh, but better yet, son, when you teach your son how to hunt, apparently the only way to threaten him is apparently by threatening disembowelment. Yeah. However, if you follow a little bit further down, she actually replaces the internal organs with trash. <laughs> <laughs> Cleans all the trash up in your house, stuffs it in your guts, and leaves the guts laying around the house. Well, what if the Italian Santa came in and cleaned everything ahead of time? Apparently, they have a partnership. They, oh, they kind of work together. Yeah. So there. you get visited by the good witch or the bad witch. It's kind of like Wizards of Oz. Or well, and the bad and the good witch in this case is even really that good. If she, you try to spy on her, she'll beat the crap out of you with her I, broom. She's like, you better not be peeking. Bam, broom. <laughs> no, what'd be really bad is a Mexican when she throws shoes at you. Yeah, I have seen that happen in, in my life. Chancla. I don't know how that happens, but a witch, a me, a Santa witch that could do that would be. And I'll be all beat up Krampus and all that. But what if I could catch the shoe in midair? You can't catch the chocolate. Mm -hmm. There's no way. It's a physical force of nature that you don't even see coming. Oh, it's happen. got triple damage. Okay. <laughs> it does have triple damage. So, so next up we have another one I can't pronounce. Belschnickel. Bells. I am glad Bells he's Nichols. here because one of us is not going to get this. <laughs> hey, the and studio I feel like also, I also Anybody want to like... guess where it's from? Germany. Uh, Germany. Uh, Dutchland. Yeah, the Dutch. You know who doesn't have any bad guys so far? Australia. They're like, eh, whatever. No, no, no. We got snakes British. that could eat us. They're no, Brits. No, the Brits. So, mm. oh, well, they were also a prison colony, so I don't yes. think you could get much worse down there. Yeah, yeah. You already have the worst sentence. You're in a place that has things that will kill you with one bite. So, what's the deal? Is this another witch? No, no this is. It's an old man. Another old oh, man. It's another creepy with fur. Old, with fur. Oh, here we go back to the fur sack. Tattered clothes and a fur sack. So he's a homeless evil Santa demon. He's uh, gonna fool you. Cola, cola, give me a cola for some beer. You know, give it to him, and then what's he do? Eat you? Uh, he uh, fairly beats he, the crap out of you. So oh, okay, he, I he, he gives seeing... you candy or beats you up. Yes. And what is with the beating at Christmas time? <laughs> because you're supposed to beat your children. I don't know. Disembowelment, beatings, kidnappings, fur sacks. Um, uh, uh, drowning. Also, remember, Krampus will drown somebody. And drown. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. How bad are your kids? I'm going to say this again. How bad are they if this is what you have to use to get them in life? <laughs> but see, the funny thing is they give you candy, which makes you what? Hyper. Crazy. And it's a, it's a vicious circle. It's a vicious circle. It's a self Christmas is a self-fulfilling story. I'll give you candy. I'm gonna come back later and beat this. You better not be on a sugar high. Good luck eating that that the, the, you know uh, that was that that powdered uh, sugar stuff with the fruit flavors. Yes, lick it dips. I love those things. Good luck. Oh, here's a soda too for good measure. Yes, <laughs> oh, it's, a bread. <laughs> it's a bread pudding. <laughs> it's a bread pudding just for good measure. I don't understand. Is this maybe one of the reasons why we kind of got away from these dark violet versions? Because, you know, we're not allowed to hit children or do any of those things these I days? Think, I think it's also, I mean, not to be thing, but it's also why we don't tell the original versions of, like, Han Christian Anderson tell, Brother Grimm's tell. Because, <laughs> because at this point, like, we don't want to give our children trauma, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, like, like the Little Mermaid. She turned yeah, she turned to sea foam at the end. Yeah. Not it, like the Disney version where she lived happily ever after. Right, or, mm. like, Beauty of the... Beast or Snow White or I mean Cinderella where yeah. the sisters like cut off pieces of their foot. So next up Hans we have trap. Hans Trap. The now, anti Santa. The anti there's always an anti Santa. Like what do they Santa just sitting there going, Hey, who wants to draw my anti Santa posse? And this one is in France. Okay, so the French are actually okay, so he has to be snotty. He is. Apparently he he, he dresses as a scarecrow scarecrow. And like peeks at children through their windows. Yes. Oh, surprise! Don't be scared. I'm gonna kill you. No, no, drags them into the fields. To, to and and eats them. And eats them. Cuts them up. Here we go them. again. So so apparently we have what we have is is children in the corn, but in reverse. Exactly. In this case, the children get dragged to the field to become the cor corn. Yes. So 
this Stephen Christmas. Stephen King did not yeah. come up with an original yeah. idea, apparently. Now, the nice thing about this guy is he's not giving him candy. He's just saying, <laughs> you're, you're good. I'm going to eat you. Or I'm going to eat you. You're going right. to be an appetizer this Christmas. But according to this, actually, he has a deal with another one of the lures that will give you presents. It, she'll stop you if you're actually a good child and he thinks you're evil. She'll stop them. So now that we're doing yeah. this, let's make scarecrows to put outside of people's windows with some blood and a bib and some North knife and fork. Don't you think that'd be funny? <laughs> Bang on the window. We also need have to hand the Wikipedia page to it so they understand what we're doing to them. Come see us in February. We may have a we may have a scarecrow in the woods. <laughs> oh, that'll be hilarious! You're gonna create a hot trap scarecrow for your events and people just to be split. Oh, get me some barbecue sauce. I, I want to eat them. I have a em. question after this for you. in a minute. But All right. Next up is. Pere, pere, pere uh, futar. Futar. Thank you. It's French again. So this is probably. This is, and this is one of the ones that whips, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. this is also another one that has a wife that is the good person. So he's the bad guy and she's the good guy. I okay. So. Well, actually, hey, there's different stories. Yes. In some cases, she's his partner. Yes. <laughs> a partner in crime. Hey, so, way to keep it in the family. So my theory is, is Hans Trap is probably from northern France. Or the rural power fans, because he's a scarecrow. That makes more sense. This sounds like more of like the more suburban France, like the Paris or you know more high the cities where the high society uh, couple comes. Uh, okay, and takes now wait a minute. Well, because it's a butcher. That's why I say that. It actually says he he is Saint Nicholas's servant. Oh, so Santa has a murderous oh, slave. Wait, is this is this Saint Nicholas's yeah. servant whose job is to dispense punishment? Not to mention up here, he he lured three boys to his butcher shop to eat them. <laughs> they must have been really really bad. But fairly delicious. Okay, so we're learning Santa's a dick. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Wait till we get to some of the characters we could talk about. <laughs> All right, next one. Zwar Zwarte Piet. We yep. are not. Okay, we're skipping. <laughs> this, no, no, no. this is the so, Black Peter one, right? This is Black. Yeah. Okay, we are not. Okay. Disclaimer. For the good of the show, <laughs> disclaimer. We are not talking about this guy. Google it. It's Look very up. racist. And it like, is super racist. The only pictures I've seen are people in blackface for this, no, no, looking like all clowns. No, because the is in blackface, and you're supposed to like kick him in the butt, and he's he is literally the slave of Santa. Santa's a dick. Let's just chalk yeah. this one up again, too. So, we're not. We don't have pictures of him up. We don't have anything. <laughs> Look him up. Google it yourself. Because the scary thing is, they still practice this. But my question is, is yeah. in today's day and age, why would they still practice something like this? What are they getting at outside of drunken fun? Uh, drunken fun. Drunken fun. Yeah. It, it's really all you need. It, it literally, in this case, is there is no, there is no explanation. There's even people who, when it, Black Peach shows up, there's a protest group right behind them. Like they, the people are really like modern Europeans do not like having this guy around. So then my question is, is if he was Santa's slaves, who got to beat up on him? Like the really, really good kids? Like, hey kids, you are 100% perfect. Come beat up on my little slave children. I mean, not <laughs> children, one guy. Up. One guy. Whatever it is. And who's a cannibal, by the way? Things just keep getting better. So, so, so what do we know? So, Santa's a dick. Cannibals. Yeah, cannibals. Various different ones. And where's candy. He, yeah, where, and a broom. A broom where, 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 does he, where does he keep these evil things in the North Pole? <laughs> like, do they have their own little... They're all, so, okay, the oh, South Pole, they're far enough away where they're not going to bother him. So, think about it. Heaven, hell. Oh. Oh, look at you trying to get all... Heaven, or, let's rock. Heaven I forgot hell, let's rock. I'm what saying. I was going to, like, metaphorical. Anyways, next yes. up, the Yule Lads. This one always confuses me because they're not really bad. They're not really good. They are what you are. Yeah, so... And <laughs> there is some also weird things and... This is one of those, like, we could literally have an entire show about what these guys are supposed to represent, what they do, the legends, the stuff. Do we need another one of me around? No. Do we need another one of you? No. no. Maybe another one of PJ, because he's pretty mm. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, no, no, you guys don't know me. I, I know there are, there are people who would argue that. <laughs> so, I got again, two XY this is. And a couple kids. This is, this is a Euro mostly European. This is Iceland. And this is, it's Iceland. It's Iceland. And he gives out, they, these guys are 13 guys. There's not one. Thirteen of these guys who beat the crap out of you. Actually, uh, no. I, it, this one ties into the next one. Okay. The next and, one is Gorilla. Then, Gorilla is their mother, and I want to know. And she's got seventy-two children. Who slept with her to have seventy-two children? Someone uh, that evil who three, eats babies. She's got three different husbands, and seventy-two children. What do you? What, and she's eating. And them. she's the mother of the Yulesviner, which are the Yule lads. The Yule lads. So yeah, there's some. There's some weird. Oh, and they, that's, 20, and they, that's 25 kids per husband. And they actually, and they, 24 and they actually own the Yule Cat back here. 
Oh, so they're just keeping it. It's a family yeah, of douchebags. You, know you know what this is? You know what this is? This is like the Marvel Universe of Christmas. It is the Marvel Universe of the dark side of Christmas. I mean, come and, on. And like, all together, they pour, pour out the hateful of Christmas Avengers. <laughs> the, the Dark Avengers. The Dark yeah. Avengers And they're Santa going, yes, do my bidding, slaves. So what, what, that would make him Nick Fury? Yeah, he'd basically be Nick Fury. Yes. Oh, but okay. see if he was the one from that, the one we had the tattoos, Rise yes. of the Guardians. That could be the Nick Fury Santa. That would be Nick Fury Santa. That would right? be Nick Fury Santa. The Guardians, yes. But yeah, yeah Gorilla you, like eats babies. She and kidnaps, stuff. cooks, and eats children. Does she not have enough of her own that she can eat? Uh, I'm guessing she probably uh, is ate her a few house of those. made of gingerbread. I must know this. <laughs> you, why do you want to know? You want her to go eat you? No, no. I just want to know because then it would fit into another fairy tale, which means Hans Christian. The, yeah. no, I don't mm. think I don't think she's the the witch in the gingerbread house because that's not at Christmas time. We don't know that. Yeah, when it says, you when the you Yule cat lives with Gorilla. <laughs> so, Gorilla seems to be the queen of this all right now. She says the Yule cat to force people to work overtime so their kids are bad. And her, her children cause trouble ranging from harmless mischief to murder. Wow, that's a wide range of things. Can, you can, can, do. I, can I have? Can I just hang out with the white mischief one? I don't want to really hang out with the murder one. <laughs> so uh, friends, friends are the ones that go to jail with you. I don't think I want to be associated with murder. What you do today? Oh, I woke up. You know, ate some breakfast, stole the candy bar, kicked a cat, murdered a small child, buried a family in the ocean, had dinner, went to gave sleep. out some more candy. Yeah, I gave out some more candy. So you know, Krampus has somebody to beat with the stick. Yep. Oh yeah, what if Krampus is living in their attic? Like, you know, like... I think if Krampus used to step far away from these people right you now. You know, I'm looking at all this going, you know what, out of all these, I want Krampus to show up, because at least Krampus, all he does is drown you. <laughs> or beat you to... Oh, death. that's yeah. all he does is drown you. He's uh, not yeah, going to eat you, stone you, hit you with a broom. I'd rather be beaten with a broom, sorry. Well, I mean, if I, I had... Don't a, know. I, I don't know. Beaten for a broom? I don't know. I, that's It's of all she does. I mean... At least she cleans up after her, her house after you. I mean, uh, yeah. Oddly, the onion blamed her for the eruption of that volcano. That's the onion does all sorts of fun things. Yes. So all these dark things of Christmas. <laughs> now you have to look at it. Here's the fun part. This is what we found like 45 minutes of research. This wasn't us even looking that hard. Yeah, if we would look deeper and further, we would have found crazy. I know there's crazy traditions. I, I can't imagine that these are the only countries with really. I want to know the ones that are like in some. Siberia or Russia. Russia, you know, has got to have some messed oh, up I, Christmas I, traditions. Well, I mean, Russia, Russia yeah. Santa does not bring you present. <laughs> you bring Santa. <laughs> Santa brings presents to you. No. Because you, bring... you know there's a reason they have Russian dolls. There's probably a legend behind it. Some evil Santa comes out, shoves well, uh, kids and the other kids like a crazy turducken. Yeah. <laughs> rips them apart, disembowels them, stuffs another kid inside. Keep Piece warm, kids. It's, it, well, I mean, like, like, you could almost say, like, the Snow Princess in Japanese mythology could be Christmas related if they wanted, but could be. I mean, I mean, like, yeah, we don't have any of the Asian cult countries. I mean, I know China, China really wouldn't have because Christianity. Japan really wouldn't have it either South because America. they banned Christianity. Well, yeah. the thing that kills me the most about this is someone had to initially create these. How much do you hate life to make someone who's going to drag you as a scarecrow and eat you? No, no, you what? hate everything at that point in time. See, my theory is like with the butcher one that like some butcher came out and goes, I killed a kid and I will kill you too if you're not good to get off my front porch. And like, that's how it started. <laughs> get out of my yard. Get out of my yard or I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and he had a butcher's knife and like that's where it started. I mean, you know, it all starts somewhere. <laughs> Someone's really, they were either really so, so, so yeah, seriously. <laughs> this, wait, wait. Let's create a monster. Okay, everybody take a shot. Uh, who has the best idea? Someone's going to e get eaten at some point in time tonight. That's all we know. <laughs> so that was our brief dip into the dark before Christmas. I'm pretty sure we may revisit this next year as we do even more. I think, I think next year should be the traditions because I saw one where apparently if you if someone is bad or been evil or wronged you, you poop in their yard. Um, does that only have to happen around Christmas? <laughs> It's supposed to be, I don't know. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you can have my feces. <laughs> yeah. Poop. Because everything boils down to poop year. when they show, doesn't oh, it? Oh, I like PJ. He's here more often. He's pooping in people's yards. All right, so that's been our topic for this show. Um, we hope you guys have enjoyed it and laughed along with us, but we will probably revisit we're this worried. again next year. And yeah, worried about us because we're stuck on beating children like we're some sort of evil people. I'm Ooh. worried about people editing yeah. these vid videos where all we're talking about is beating children. Beating <laughs> children, beating children. We're going to get flagged I on YouTube. I will kill you and your children.